But I ask you, is just making dua for guidance, is it sufficient? Just after saying, we need to stay content that we will be guided, is it sufficient? Is it sufficient that we just say and we say content and we don't do anything else? What do we do in our normal life? Like just imagine giving you an example. If you need to go to one of your friend's house, you don't know the location and you don't know the route to the house. It's a new destination. What do you do? Do you just sit after Salah and you just keep on praying, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, let me guide me to her house and help me get to her house. Do you just pray? No, you just call her up and you ask her her address and you ask her to guide you to the route. And then nowadays you tell her to send you the location. So your own city, your own locality, we know the roads, we know the locations, we know the buildings, but still we just are not content by praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then for Jannah, just thinking that we will say, Allahumma ikhtana siratul mustaqim, and that is going to be sufficient. Do we just make dua for our worldly requirements in this, then just stay content? Like just water in our water tank finishes. Do we just sit and make dua? No, we just get up, we switch on the pump, and, and then expect that the water will come. We do work. We do our effort. We, we're trying to marry off our children, our daughter or our son, and we've arranged a huge marriage party. Do we just sit and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to arrange all the meal and to arrange for all the arrangements of the marriage party for the guests? No, we run about, we make effort, we plan, we make arrangements of all sorts for the events. So there you are, asking for the road to Jannah and asking for the guidance to Jannah just by saying mustaqim and thinking that that is going to be sufficient and we're going to be guided. No, we need to do what? We need to pray, we need to ask mustaqim from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but at the same time, we need to, we need to struggle, strive to learn about the path. And how do we learn about the path? Is by reading Quran and Hadith. As Prophet Salaam said, Inni taraktu fikum shayyan. There is no doubt that I'm leaving behind for you two things, Kitabullah was sunnati, two things, the book of Allah and my sunnah. If you hold, if you hold fast to these two things, you will not go astray. You will not lose the path. So it is not just praying for guidance and it is just not staying Allahumma ihtina siratul mustaqim and staying content, but striving to learn, to read the teachings of Quran and Hadith. So all those who recite Surah Fatiha and all those who have joined us in the session today, let's make two resolutions, two resolutions today. Two firm resolution, resolutions today here. Number one, we will sincerely ask for guidance. Number one, and two, we will, with full hard work and struggle, try to learn Quran and Hadith. Allahumma ihtina siwat al mustaqim. Allahumma alhimna rushdan wa aizna min sharuri anfusina. Ya musarrif al qulubi sarrif qalbi ala tu'atik. يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلبي على طاعتك